Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PD. And today we are checking out Ocean View by Roshi. Uh, I'm very excited for this because I was unfamiliar with who Roshi was previously, uh, but then I checked out B and B was amazing. Uh, and I saw some of her other music as well. And I was so impressed. Uh, and I've actually been waiting for a comeback since B. So uh, this, oh, this also features Chanya from EXO. So that should be interesting. Um, this looks like it is going to be a summer song. Now, summer songs are either, it's a huge give and take of it's either going to be a hit or it's going to be a miss because I feel like summer songs are, it's such a strong thematic section and it always happens in you know, the same season and everybody's doing it. So it's just like, it's a very competitive time uh, and it can feel very, it can feel very contrived and done before, but we'll see what Rossi is going to bring to the table. Uh, now, guys, if you enjoy what we do here, if you would like to support us, uh, we could really use your support over on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash form therapy for as little as $2 a month, you get early access to videos like this. And for just a little bit more, you get access to videos like uh, live stages, variety show, drama reactions, and stuff like that over on our Patreon. So if you want to support us, we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, but supporting us monetarily is completely optional. If you don't want to or you can't, we understand. Let's get into this video. This is Ocean View by Roshi uh, featuring Chanyar, and this is your form of therapy. I love the colors so far. The blue, the yellow on the wood pops really well. Alright, so they're going for a more of a tropical bohemian concept with this. A little bit of like a tickling guitar. Interesting. Uh, on, on top of that guitar, there's a little bit of a trap, like a very slight trap beat. Oh, singing Chanyar, absolutely, yes. Wow. This portion is so beautiful.
Okay, so that was just like a glamour section. Uh, you know, that was that was actually really good. You know, when it comes to summer songs, um, I, I feel like especially because there are so many idol groups, uh, there's a lot of tropes that one could fall into. And this is a very, very uh, summer song. Can't mistake it for anything else. Um, it goes for a, a very simple, minimalistic, tropical theme. Um, I uh, I do find it interesting that they add like on top of the guitar, on top of the guitar, uh, there's like you know slight little beautiful small moments of guitar uh, guitar plucking, but then uh, the main rhythm is carried by a trap beat. But it's also not like an aggressively obnoxious trap beat either. It's also very calm. Like a lot of the song is very calm and steady, and it's actually very much driven by her voice. It's very melodic. And you know, I think that's very rare. You don't see that a lot in summer songs. Like you'll you'll see a lot of summer songs where yes, there's a lot of vocals, but it's very heavily instrumental driven. I feel like a lot of summer songs are. Um, Rosie, I think because of the kind of singer that Rosie is, um, and because she's a soloist, it was a good idea to go for a more um, vocally driven song. Uh, I think it's very beautiful. Uh, they went for music video wise, it's very it's very cute. They went for a tropical bohemian look. Um, I really love this setup right here. Just like set design wise, it's just so dynamic and interesting. Um, they have like this giant poster of the ocean, which is just like nice. It's a nice, clean, simple palette. But then compared to the backdrop of this, uh, let's say she, it looks like she's in like a small shop in Hawaii where she's like having lunch right and you know like the woods a little bit worn down and the skate or the surfboards are like all rusty you know so that's kind of like dirty kind of like used up old janky uh board shop look uh contrasted by this very very beautiful simple minimalistic tropical poster is a nice touch um I feel like the, the inside of this caravan. So this kind of sells the big bohemian look. Bohemian uh, is often confused, I feel like, with hippie uh, looks. And I feel like you can see the kind of like the duality of that here. Um, I also feel like the, you know, it's it's a little bit of like a clash of like ignorant set dressing uh, a little bit. So the caravan... You know, the caravan thing is a big part of, I feel like, hippie culture. Um, uh, I don't know if that is necessarily a part of bohemian culture, but at least the fashion of her clothes in the caravan and then the fashion and the aesthetic decor of her bed in the caravan is very bohemian inspired. Um, then the radio here is a little bit like a 50s type of radio. Uh, the mint color, the solid mint color and the solid yellow color give it like a nice retro 50s look. Um, but I feel like uh, the dream catcher here is a little bit ignorant, um, mainly because uh, I feel like um, dream catchers or like uh, bindies or uh, uh, any kind of like, I feel like ceremonial, um, culturally ceremonial stuff is often confused with bohemian and hippie culture. Um, especially if you don't know better, if you, especially if you know nothing about bohemian and hippie culture. I mean, I don't uh, either. I'm not claiming to be an expert, but at least I live in America. So I've seen that. Um, I've, I, I, I at least know like the origins of what a dream catcher is, right? Um, but if you look at the more, if you look at dance festivals, uh, if you look at like Coachella, you'll see people constantly appropriating Native American and Bindi, like Native American culture and like Bindis uh, and um, a lot of, I would say, Indian culture as well. Here, it's more necessarily um, the dream catcher is probably the only uh, problematic thing. Um, but again, I, I can tell like, I like based on what I've seen, just like I can see why they easily made that mistake, because if they just look at reference photos coming out of bohemian and hippie culture here in the West Coast, you're going to see stuff like this a lot. Um, 
Let's see. I, I like the I like the idea. First of all, uh, let's see which comes up first. Okay, this came up first. I like the idea of how to travel alone, and I thought that was a very cute, uh, fun premise. So it's not just like a generic music video of her at the beach, and it's like, oh, it's fun. They added a little cute element to keep it interesting. Um, I really love her aesthetic. Um, the, the colors in this music video are absolutely divine, um, but this was a very clever. Uh, shot set piece. I love how they're framing her against the glass. I thought that was really well done. But I love this this outfit. Um, the yellow and the blue pops a lot. Um, I've definitely done a photo shoot like this with like my girlfriend as well because this is just it's a great summer look. A strong yellow, especially when it's like a honey gold yellow like this, uh, mixed with a strong co contrasting blue. Um, this part where she's like watching herself, I, I I wonder what like the motivation behind all this was because this was kind of sad and a little bit depressing. Like it's it's one thing where in the middle of the video, like she has like a cute how to travel alone type of situation going on, but then she's like watching herself and like she's toasting herself. And I don't know, there's something a little bit lonely about it. And then uh, at the end, uh, a guy shows up, which, you know, I, what what is that alluding to? I, I don't know, um, but I enjoyed myself. I thought this was very fun. I think Rossi did an amazing job. Uh, was it as good as B? No, I don't think so. Uh, it did not captivate me as much as B. But at the same time, that doesn't mean it wasn't good, and that doesn't mean it didn't captivate me at all. I think uh, out of all the summer songs coming out right now, there are very few summer songs that actually grab me, and this definitely does grab me. I think Chanyeol's feature was quite spectacular. You know, for a one note, one verse feature, it was really, really good. It was really incredible. It fit the aesthetic of the song um even though it was one verse he was in there for a really long time and so i think that was really well done on who, whoever did the um whoever planned that portion they did an excellent job i thought chanyar's voice fit extremely well especially because his rapping was it wasn't an out of nowhere type of rapping and I, I felt like aesthetically it, it it's one of the better collaborations uh, because they made Tanya do more of a singing slash rapping like a more of like a like a fast paced singing type of vibe and that came off way better way slicker so I think they did a really good job with Chanyeol's feature as well but guys that is uh that is my reaction and review of Rosie's Ocean View now the question I have for you is what did you think what did you think of Roshi's summer song how does it compare to other summer songs on the market right now let me know what you thought in the comments down below guys if you enjoyed this video if you want to support us visit us at patreon patreon.com slash form of therapy for as little as two dollars a month you get early access to videos like this and more but supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you don't want to or you can't why don't you go ahead and hit like down below leave a comment go ahead and subscribe be notified when we upload new videos by hitting that notification bell and check out all our other videos over here and i'll see you guys later Later. Bye.